Hello everyone. My name is Steph Zygmunt. I'm the Director of Curriculum here at Southern Columbia Area School District. I'd like to take a few minutes of your time to share with you our SoCo Cyber Option through Edgenuity. I'm going to share my screen so you can see what the platform looks like and then we can share some information. The program is offered to you for the upcoming school year. SoCo Cyber is an online program through Edgenuity. It is completely 100% online, at home, at your own pace, on your own schedule. There is no need to log on at specific times during the day. It is a program that allows you the flexibility to progress when you would like. All the required work will be either completed within the program or uploaded through the program. K to five students can receive a workbook of all the downloadable PDFs to complete assignments. However, they still need to be uploaded into the platform. One important fact the school district wants you to realize is that although this is an online cyber platform, it is our SoCo cyber platform. So you are still a tiger, which means you have access to all the supports you have here at Southern. You have access to special education, gifted, mental health, and you can also graduate with a Southern degree. The program itself encompasses two grade spans, a K to five, which is what you're looking at currently, and a six through 12, which looks like this. Each program is very similar, but has a few differences you need to be aware of. Um, the K to five grade span focuses on four core courses, math, ELA, which includes reading, writing, grammar, spelling, and for the younger students, phonics and sight words. It also includes social studies and science. Six through 12 may include other courses, especially dependent on, on graduation requirements. The second difference is the teacher. The K to five program utilizes the Edgenuity teachers, while the 6 through 12 uses our SCA teachers, depending on the course. That means that Edgenuity or our teacher is responsible for assigning, monitoring, and grading your students' work. There is a live meeting once a week for students in grades K to 5 with Edgenuity and their teacher, and it's basically a check-in to ensure progress is happening at the appropriate pace. The third difference is the learning coach. As you can appreciate, students in younger grades may need more support in learning than the older students. The learning coach is an adult at home who will help the students log on, submit work, answer questions, help with learning, and just be there to aid the students as they progress through the program. Let's take a minute to look at the different platforms. So when your student logs on, this is what they will see. It's basically their dashboard, and their dashboard has these tiles. The tiles are the courses that your child is enrolled in. Each time a student logs on, this is where they will begin. This is what the K through five platform looks like or dashboard, and this is what the six through 12 looks like. All the student needs to look at is the tile that is their course. Now, please remember, both of these are demos, so you're going to see a bunch of courses in here, but we're going to, your student will only have the courses or the tiles that relate to the courses they are enrolled in. If you look at the tile, you'll notice a couple things. First of all, it says progress here. Progress is basically how far into the program your child has progressed. If it's blue, that means they're ahead of schedule or ahead of pace. If it's green, they're right on pace. If it's red, they're a little bit behind and they're going to need to catch up. You'll also see here where it says current score. That shows you basically what their grade would be as of today. If you look at the 6 through 12, the tiles are similar. Obviously, the graphics are not there because this is the older level program, but you'll notice the same similarities. It'll, sh it'll show you how complete they are. You can see here a percentage complete. It also shows you their actual grade. Let's take a look at one of the courses so you can see what it looks like. So all the student will need to do is click on that tile and it'll take them right into the program. Again, up here is the progress. Please remember that is how they're progressing through the program. You'll see two tabs, activities and to-do list. Let's take a look at the to-do list first. That shows all of the assignments that the Edgenuity teachers for students of K through five have assigned. It also shows a due date. So this is basically your calendar. It shows you the assignments and when they are due. If we go back to the activities page, you'll see a boatload of information on here. You'll see modules. Okay, and we'll talk about those in a second. You'll also see up here learning coaches. So these are learning coaches. This is the, the person at home that I talked to you about earlier that just needs to be there for the student, help them out, help with the learning. That's why it's called a learning coach. So if you click on this, it shows you basically what the coach's responsibility is. And you click down here to go to the next one. It shows you a little video. Um, it shows you how much time should be spent on each course subject. 
It also shows you what the workspace should look like. There's another video that shows you how to upload information. There's another video that shows you how to label things. So that's um, pretty much your resource or your uh, information desk, we'll call it. The next piece you'll see is the materials needed. So that shows you what the student will need to finish the modules that are below. The materials could be something as simple as a pen or pencil. It could be their workbook. In math, it could be, you know, for K to five, it could be um, bear counters. So that doesn't mean that you have to have those specific items. You can use anything to count with. So you just may need to adapt the materials a little bit. Let's take a look at one of the modules. The modules are basically chapters. When you click on the down arrow, it shows you the lessons in the chapters. When you click on the lesson, it takes you through the lesson for that specific topic or that specific objective. The objectives are the standards that relate to that teaching. You'll just keep clicking through here as the student finishes things. They may be games. It may be they have to read. Um, they may have to upload something. When you are finished with each of the lessons, you'll click down here where it says the activity is complete. Once you hit there, it takes you to the next lesson and you progress through until you finish all of the modules. The 6 through 12 is set up the same way. Let's click on 6th grade math. As you can see, the graphics are not there, but it does give you an outline. So your warm up, your instruction, your summary, your assignment and your quiz. Over here, it tells you approximately how long each of these items should take. Over here is an outline of things that are happening. Each of these are set up exactly the same way with the things to do. It's just different in what it looks like because of the grade level of those students. Um, so that's pretty much what the program looks like. If you have any questions, um, please don't hesitate to call the school. We're more than happy to answer any questions for you. Thank you for taking the time to watch the video and we hope you have a great day.